My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Moving along to race number five, and in race number five, we're gonna go straight into the action, and we do have a interview with the trainer of my first selection, which is gonna be number five, Aquas Sulis, the seven-year-old mare, the daughter of traffic god. When you look at this individual, I think she's gonna have a big run, so let's see what the conditioner, Duncan Owls, has to say about Aquas Sulis. Shaken, not stirred, she didn't have a good run last time out, we've given her a break. And uh, she's come back well in herself. She's, it's debatable whether she's better on turf or poly. But uh, I think of the quality of the field, she's capable of running into the money. Akosula's had a bit of a break and uh, she's come back well in herself. Always competitive if she finds her feet. She is getting on a bit now. But if she puts her best foot forward, she could run into the first four. Well, there we heard about number three, Shaken Not Stirred, and number five, Aquas Sulas. And Duncan was saying it's debatable whether Shaken Not Stirred's better on the turf or the poly. The record states 10 runs on the turf for no placing. So we're going to go with the poly runs. And when number three, Shaken Not Stirred's back on the poly. Number five, Aquas Sulas was my first selection, a horse who's been very consistent. Although it has been 825 days since she last tasted victory. I like the merit rating drop down to a 67. Also coming back from a break, so it depends how fit she is. And let's just have a look. She's got two victories in the wet, so with the rain predicted on the weekend, that'll enhance her chances. But after, li after listening to Duncan's comments, I'm not as bullish as I was prior to the comments. So she might be just in need of it, but definitely worth throwing into the top four. Now, Devon, the interesting runner for me, well, two interesting runners. Number eight, Leopard Lady. He has a horse who always finishes Finishes off really well in the closing stages. Ultra consistent, so you've got to give her a very good each way say. And then Richard Ferry jumps aboard for Louis Hursen. Not too often we see Richard Ferry aboard the Louis Hursen runners, but when he jumps aboard, like Emerald Green the other day, you know the business is on, and he has a horse who ran second to Lady Canton. Didn't get a penalty for that short head second on that occasion, and then last time out, a little bit disappointing. Not a horse that you can have a strong bet on. Devon, she's one of those horses who's in and out, but on her day, she could blow a field of this nature away. No, 100% uh, correct, <coughs> Sheldon. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have had a look at uh, a few of her reruns. If I'm not mistaken, I could be totally wrong, but she can be a little bit uptight sometimes. That is number 11, oh so squishy. Like you said, uh, has had a bit of a rating drop and has got Richard Furee aboard. So is definitely a massive runner. Does form part of my top three selections. Top three selections for me. 10, 5, and 11. So I like a little bit of number 10, Kitten's Adventure from the Gary Richyard. Has run well at Scottsville in the past and it's got Cole Dickon aboard. I definitely think that this could finish in the money, but it is a very tricky contest. For second selection, I have number 5, Aquas Solis. If you dig really deep in the form line, did finish 1.5 lengths behind Rocky Reef. If that also <coughs> repeats that kind of performance here, will definitely feature in the money. But overall, a tricky race for me. 100% right, just touching on number 10, Kitten's Adventure. They experimented, experimented over the mile last time out. They got her to settle in the back end. She ran on nicely, so another one that you have to factor into the equation. But when it comes down to the crunch, I'm with number five, Aquasulis Narrowly, and then number 11, Oh So Squishy. If she brings her A game, she's the horse they all have to beat. Good fun days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together, um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone. Mm -hmm. 